Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. I'm about to get my ass kicked, guys. Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. You gotta be me. The throttle was blindsided when a concert series moved in right across the street. This is the worst case scenario. You gotta be kidding me. Under pressure, the flaunt girls fell apart. Case. Okay, 911. I need ambulance here ASAP. Shayla just stormed out of here like the ranks was on fire. Kinda a uh, poop creek right now. Being a jerk. The stress got to Michael and Angie. Angie and I have been in each other's throats quite a bit lately. And I hate vodka. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and she's plastered out of her mind. Tonight. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Opening night. I'm on it right now. I'll find out what the is going on. Jesse scrambles to find a big name act. Nobody's answering their damn phone. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Angie acts out. That's way bigger than I thought you were going to And Michael goes ballistic. I'm about to get my ass kicked, guys. My ass. ass. On Full Throttle Saloon. It's the first day, today's Saturday. We're trying to set all the bars up as far as full-blown stock, full liquor, beer. We got cups, we got all the juices that have to go in every one of them. You have been punched in. We got some downtime right now that's happening because there's only one person here checking girls in instead of four or five. Ah. The one outside the I'm on it right now. I'll find out what the going on. They're expecting 4,000 customers tonight. Hello. But will the throttle be ready? I'm getting my ass handed to me. Do you know where they are? I'm just running and putting fires out from one end of the property to the other right now and trying to get a lot of done. Three 25-foot extension cords. Call Eric. You got Eric's phone number? No, he, he was up there yesterday putting the bunks in, said he'd have them two done. Once them doors are up, there's some mattresses and I think sitting outside of it. I don't know where they are. I've got 30,000 cups on the property, but I have no idea where they are. Today is like the most critical day that we'll have because it's the day, first day of opening. And then from there, I have no girl on the on for cash register food. They have food sitting there warm, ready to go, and there's nobody to cash registers. We only got till about six o'clock tonight to really get, make sure that everything's up and running. All the registers are running. I can't make money unless there, if there ain't a cash register ringing in this place. And the throttle will be banking on a couple smaller acts and a big performance from the flaunt girls to pull in a big opening night crowd. Where is he? I'll go get him. I'll rouse him up. And I sent a resume out in January, and it was like just two weeks ago. They called me at the very last minute. It wasn't for the money, and it was just kind of something stupid crazy. On my bucket list, work at full throttle. You need to get up. Come on. I'm supposed to be here to help you. Get up. Good gracious. Vita Liz. Okay, this is a heck of an introduction. You got about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm starting up the grill. This is Damn. When they told me they had a good team under me, I'm like, so your idea of a good team is Fajita Mike? Along with the other opening day issues, Michael's also trying to book a big name band just to keep pace. Who, who you got looking for bands right now? Well, I don't have as many bands playing this year as I had last year. There's more bands in Sturgis this year in acts and entertainment than it ever has been since I've been here in 11 years. Probably in history, I'm sure. They got God and Godsmack, Guns N' Roses, Alice in Chains. We're still kind of nervous about what that's going to do to us and 
you can only split the pie so many times before it really starts affecting everybody and, and nobody makes anything. Fajita got drunk last night, I guess, pretty wasted. And then we got a 62-year-old man that works for me that's probably one of the hardest working guys on the property, and he's wore out now because he's had to be up half the night screwing with that drunk ass. Going big. Leave me some information about what happened with Fajita last night. I don't know, about 2.45, he come in and just climbed right in my bed. And I pushed him out of the bed, and he got, got up and sat on the side of the bed. That's out of control. I don't understand why he's here. I ain't even saying it, have you? Well, no, honey, because he's he was just going to bed at 3 or 4 o'clock this morning, messing with everybody else that is actually going to bed and working and being responsible. I really don't know why why Michael let Fajita come back. As far as I'm concerned, he really closed the book on the throttle last year. It's preposterous to me that you would act that way. Oh, that's too funny. Y'all got to quit with Ray in there. You, I heard you was drunk. You went in there, you climbed in his bed this morning. What? You climbed in Ray's bed this morning. What? You, when you came to bed this morning, three in the morning or whatever time you rode in there drunk, you climbed in his bed with him. OK. You don't even remember that, do you? No. I catch you drunk one more time, we're done. From here on, on, I need you at that pizza place, that pizza place, and go to work. The drinking, I don't give a damn about any alcohol except selling it. I don't drink. When you drink and it starts affecting me, then not that it's over with. So I need you to get out of bed, get up there and go to work. Everybody on this property is busting ass and you're laying up there in the bed. Okay? All right. Now. I knew he was going to get drunk before rally started, but we're going to find out what happens down the road and how he acts the rest of the week. If he gets out of hand, I'm going to turn him loose and kick him off the property. That's where I'm at. Yeah, he pissed off. Listen to this because you're not going to take it all in. I am listening. We need four people in the kitchen that didn't show. I need two cashiers for the kitchen that didn't show. The extra tasks that get put on me, it gets real stressful on our relationship as far as I, I it's hard for me to separate business from, from personal. What if we can make some money? It's mine and Michael's livelihood. This is what we have to take care of us for the entire rest of the year. Six different items on it. So She's just filled so many shoes when it comes to being a partner for me. You haven't even kissed me. Bull I kissed you three no, times. No, you did not. You were asleep and didn't know it. Well, Angie's ready to have a baby, and, and I've been promising her for two years. So I told her that if, if you know if we end up with a good rally this year, then 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 we can, we can totally settle down. Show me them guns. Shut like. up. Get out of here. <laughs> Go ahead and work. So I have decided that I'm going to finish out my tattoo that I started five years ago. I'm kind of trying to keep it from Michael as much as I can because I have a feeling he's going to stop. He's been telling me uh, this whole time that, no, you're not getting a tattoo. You're not getting any more ink. Uh -huh. My friend showed up with a minivan, and I had to drive around in Sturgis with a minivan because none of them rode. So I said, never again. I may get my ass chewed, but I really want it, and so I, I'm going to get it. Coming up. There's some guy grabbing the grave at the flop bar. Flop bar, out of my way. Move, move, move. And later. Five hours later, it's still closed. Mounting problems threaten to sink opening day. 
they can't do it, then put some people that can. Plus. Are you excited? Yeah. When Angie goes for a tattoo, it's a full throttle face off. Opening day of the rally, and the throttle crew is scrambling to get ready in the shadow of the newly built million dollar stage across the street. My name's Dan Catullo, and I'm the, the founder and promoter of Rock and Rep Festival. So we moved over here, and we had to build this entire venue. We tried to build a little more of a mainstream festival out here in Sturgis, and uh, bring a higher level of production to the game. You know, Guns N' Roses and Alice in Chains. I mean, I'm gonna go and shoot myself if we can't sell this one out. This is Guns N' Roses' only U.S. state on this tour. First time in four years playing in the U.S. A lot of curiosity. We spent millions of dollars creating that stage and all the video content on the sides. And so that's what it's all about, especially when you're talking about building for the future. Tell him that I've got a good paying gig to ask him if he can find out if they're available. With all these huge names coming into Sturgis to perform, I've got to add some firepower. I mean, I've got to scramble and get another big name act. If you know anybody in that camp, you can give them a call. Okay. All the shows here that we that we put on are, are free shows for the people. Yeah, if they're on the Friday night, they'll still be up for coming out. The clock is ticking, and I've only got a couple of days to pull a big name act out of my ass and get them all the way to Sturgis. Nobody's answering their damn phone. Flaunt's opening night performance is just hours away. And Shayla's still MIA. It sucks that she ain't up there. And I don't think these other girls are going to be. No, I know. Uh, One of them has never performed on a stage. And now she's just jumping in on our biggest show. We have a big show coming up on Thursday. And you know, as we're getting closer to it, we're, we're just not ready. They don't see the big picture. You know that. And Jesse's got some people coming to really yes. I mean, he's kind of stuck his head out on, on the line. We really need to pull some some things together and, and get to where we need to be to be recognized by, by this guy. Chances of getting them guys back here to Sturgis again or in front of y'all is very minute. I told Brianna the same thing. Very minute. It'll We're never have this our one chance. Yeah. We'll never have the, another chance. I mean, there's so many elements of why we needed Shayla. We really need her back. We all need to look at this and work as a team and look at the big picture. We're doing a bike wash. Any bike that's dirty, come here, pay 20 bucks to wash your bike in a bikini. You gotta wet it down, and then you gotta soap it up nice. You know, get every part of the bike, and then we have a blower to dry it. Front gate's gotta get shut down or let people walk out of there. DOT's on my ass already calling here because yep. people are walking right. out. I'll get over if they there. can't do it, then put some people that can. I'll stop them it. people, tell them you cannot walk out that gate. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get we got problems with the highway because we're not allowed to let anybody cross the highway in the front of our bar. But the front of their bar is right across from ours as far as the concert venue goes that the, that's coming into town. And we're gonna have a lot of issues with people wanting to run back and forth. I'm scared of the liability of somebody, a bike hitting him, flipping and kind of having a wreck. Pam, what's the status out there? When are we gonna open? We've had a problem with the t-shirts already this morning right off the bat. There's another truck coming in tonight loaded with shirts. I'm just trying to get all the construction stuff done on top of that. That thing's gonna make a money mess. I'm just pissed. This is the critical date I've been screaming at. We need a girl for a cashier for the outside of the kitchen. They're sitting over there, food's cooked, ready to go. They can't open the door. I, I just sent people over there. That's big money I'm losing right there. I mean, we probably lost several thousand dollars today because that thing ain't open. We went over there this morning. They said it could have it open in 30 minutes. And now here it is, five hours later, and it's still closed. Surprisingly, the only kitchen that's doing well is fajitas. It's been busy as all get up. Everybody seems to want a fajita for some reason this year. Fajita time. Yeah. This is why they call it fajita. This is fajita shot. It's not fajita Mike no more. This is about me. This is about fajita Liz. Fajita Liz shows up on time. Oh! Fajita Liz brushed her teeth and combed her hair this morning. Oh! She's hellfire. 
I ain't never, I never thought I'd meet somebody else that had a nickname for Hita, so. I think I owe you like $3 a change. 89, yeah. that's what I owe you for. Yeah, it's all about this, kitty cow. Whatever. We're working together, we, we think, no, we don't think alike. Don't put that on there. <laughs> I don't want to say that I think like Mikey. This is what a Hita looks like. And you load it up like that, say, bone chicken wow wow. The beer's here. The beer is here. This is the official launch of Jesse James Beer. Jesse James Beer is going to be put on the map this week. It's going to be a big hit. You ready for this? We've been brewing the beer for a little while now, but it's been in kegs, but we're officially putting it into bottles now. The, the, we've got a brand new logo. You guys, yeah. you ready? Here we go. Tell you, tell you about it. Where the f are you at? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> now, what's going to happen with all my out there. You know, I was ready for the big presentation to Mike when I pull it out and look at it and, and the label comes off of it, you know, so it's like wah, 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 wah. So I was on the phone going, get your together, get my label stuck on these bottles, you know, because I think people are going to want these bottles and these labels because it's a badass logo. America's outlaw beer. <laughs> All week long I've been telling Michael I really would like to finish out my tattoo. I, I have a spider on my foot. I have to do this. Michael's going to kick my ass. I told Michael I, I'm getting this tattoo. I'm finishing out my tattoo. And of course, he had to be controlling and say, no, you're not. We're going to figure out like a when time. you want me to we'll, check. We'll stop people back. at a certain point. I'm pretty sure that nobody's going to mind if we say, hey, uh, well, we yeah, obviously. Her, we're going to tattoo Angie. That works like that. Really and truly, it's something I want, and I'm getting it. Coming up. Look at this. Jesse uncovers a new problem. The whole city's trying to clog everything up. Plus. This girl here is going to steal from us. Opening night brings security nightmares. Cabin office? There's nothing going on at the cabin. Where's the cabin office? property and just remind myself of how great Sturgis is. So I took Paul, my little midget friend. Happy 70th anniversary, Sturgis! <laughs> Give us two lemonades. I gotta have one too. If the leprechaun's drinking, I'm drinking. Right. You need to get your picture made with it. I can't help it. This whole city's already popping and the campers are lined up coming in. The city's already trying to congest everybody to not be able to get out of town. All the competition's trying to just, you know, clog it. The throttle is located two miles outside of Sturgis, and the main road to get there goes right through downtown. You point at it. All the businesses are putting up anti-traffic signs. Don't fight the traffic. Come in here and party. Don't go to the throttle. Stay here. It's just everybody's aiming for the full throttle. It's obvious, you know? Look at this. Why spend your night in traffic? Everything you want is in here. The whole city's trying to clog everything up. That's why they got stop signs every five foot. They're trying to clog everything up. They're just, they're creating the traffic. Yeah, right, so people can't get out of dock. And then you've got all these other, you know, big corporate guys coming into town trying to throw these big festivals. Nobody comes to Sturgis just for a concert. You come to Sturgis for the Sturgis experience. That's damn good lemonade. That is real good lemonade. Wait for the kitchen, though. We come over here to get some food from the kitchen. The thing is closed. We got nothing to do but drink. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be a happy day. A cashier's been nowhere today. I had to pull Kayla up. She stayed here all night to go run the one on the inside the cashier from the kitchen. There's not one on the outside. Still not one on the outside. Kitchen. Details. Yes. I knew it was going to be a tough day. It just pisses me off that there's people that are wanting that stuff. There's not even a that's register set up, and they don't have nobody on it. You know, it's ridiculous. You need to tell Rick that if I bring him employees, he sent the ones that I hired this morning home. Yeah. He sent them all home. So he's down to three people in that kitchen. The girls went over this morning. The kitchen manager didn't know that what to do with them, so he sent them home. Uh, so I need you in the in the kitchen for the, for the rest of the afternoon, and you can go back up there this later in about six. Okay. Got promotion. <laughs> so I had to jerk the kid out of the t-shirts to put it in the cashier right now. I've been after that position now for ever since this morning because it's been sitting there empty. 
This first. Always next, never first. That'll be 1974. First day of opening, full blown every bar, everything. It's gonna take a while to get it up and going. I told him it's gonna be a hell of a day. I just went down there, yeah. and I'm telling you, we still watched how they got it bunched up, yeah. and the lights are going green, red, yeah. stays red. But I know, but I want to catch it on film. I, I got you, but it, they're marketing you should document it. Yeah. They got like 20 stop signs, and their mentality is, is that by clogging people up, they're going to stay downtown and spend their money, going to get frustrated in traffic and just finally pull over. See what it looks like. Not. It looks like they had a Chamber of Commerce meeting because the businesses have got signed, don't sit in traffic, just come in here and party, come in here and, and hang. I just walked by and went, what the hell? Yeah. After seeing the competition downtown, down the road, and across the street, Jesse's determined to land a big name for the throttle. Hey, is that Ken guy from uh, from Brett Michaels' production camp? Has he replied back to me yet? With all this huge corporate competition coming into the rally this year, we've got to add another big name act. So we're going after Brett Michaels. Ken, uh, I'm, I'm in Sturgis on my cell phone. Uh, it'd be a great idea for you and I to reconnect. If we don't do something and do it quick, we could get steamrolled by all of this huge corporate competition down the street and across the street. debut just a couple hours away, Angie makes a last ditch effort to get Shayla back. I called her. She wasn't answering her phone. I left messages. I left text messages for hours, hours, hours. So at this point, I'm just waiting for her. She's at work right now. She, she works during the day. I'm just waiting for her to go on break so that she can call me. It's We're taking off a jacket, correct? Yep. At this point, we're scrambling to just get them ready for the stage. Really focus on those facials. Have this be like, yeah, because then people are focusing on this. You can really play off a lot of that stuff. The other thing uh, Tristan was saying. We do need you. I said, and it's important that you're there. I said, we just promise me that you'll come tonight. And then uh, we'll go from there. And she said, yeah, I'll be there. Yay, I love you, Gina. Shayla and Gina are real close. I had her go talk to her, and Shayla said, okay, I'll come tonight. Our whole team will be here tonight. Everyone. Gina went and got her. The way that she left has created some turmoil. There are underlying issues with the new girls because they don't feel that great about the situation. They were given some dances, and, and now they're taken away. How that's gonna all unfold, I don't know. So in a half hour, they'll be here, and we'll go through to the two shows. Okay. Hopefully, we can make things work. Coming up. Security gets tested. Ask her. It don't matter. I'm telling you, you're gone. Plus, Angie caught in the act. I'm gonna get some trouble. So you have your startup sheet. You have your start. Nope. Start you sheet. No. I got some girls that just aren't gonna get it through the whole rally. Lots of boobs, lots of beauty, not a brain cell. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be throwing a fit now. Kayla's down there getting a tattoo. You act like you die if you get a tattoo. I ain't saying that, but she just don't need to be marking her body up. Why? You just don't. Michael doesn't think that women should have ink on them. I'm not sure why. Um, I know that mama doesn't like ink period of course um so there's probably a good influence there from mama saying you don't need to do that and getting a tattoo to match her a tattoo of what Not i'm the... actually I'm, I'm i'm just adding to this one it's going to be a spider web up here i don't remember that coming. i don't think that came across the committee's desk it doesn't did, have to did, 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 did you I, did you did the committee have you heard anything about the angie's got a spider on her foot the problem I have with a tattoo, a lot of people get addicted to tattoos, and one leads to two, and then to three, and to four, and I don't want her to get that addiction of actually tattooing sleeves and everything all over. I mean, she's a beautiful woman. I've I mean, already consulted the Angie Land I don't think the commissioners. I don't think the committee's approved any tattoos. Well, that's just bull I don't know what his problem is, and I don't care what his problem is, because I'm going to get it anyway. I honestly 
honestly didn't know if I was going to come tonight, and it was a horrible feeling, and I cried a lot. Because this is truly my life. I said things I didn't mean, and I know people said things to me that they didn't mean. It was just, it was a big deal, and it was bad. The 29th of this month? Gina stopped into my work tonight. She said, can we do it without you? Yes, do we want to? No. And she said, truly, we feel like the Jackson 4 without you. And that was, that right there was it for me. I'll show you sorry. I'll show you sorry, too. For Shayla to come back, last second, I mean, there was issues and there's dances that haven't been cleaned up and aren't perfected, so, yeah, I'm concerned. to the 70th rally. Here we go, drink up with me. Holy smokes, I'm gonna get f***ed up. It's gonna get too crazy around here for you, buddy boy. Good luck on this. There we go, buddy. Our sign guy, Barney, has a ranch right down the street, so we're gonna take Emmett over to Barney's ranch for the for the rally because things are starting to pick up. It's going to get a little crazy. I don't want a bunch of drunk people screwing around with him too much. <laughs> no, you, but get that rope, put it behind his ass. He is an ass. Yeah. He just no. he don't like the horse cars. He knows he's leaving. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Good boy, you man. Watch him. He'll kick a kick. Yeah. I'll see you soon. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> trying to fight you. I'll tell you what, we really don't do this too often here at the Full Throttle Slip, but this year we're going to make an exception. There's a woman out there named it Tickets. Tickets, come up here, please. Tickets, I have a question. Come here. Who's this dude with you? Bruno. Who is Bruno to you? He's my main sweet. Bruno, come here, buddy. Tickets, we have a very special, special birthday present for you. I want you to hold on to your guy right here real quick. Just give him a hug. Tickets, turn around. Tickets, turn around. Tickets, will you marry me? Yes, kiss the Tickets right there. Hello? Yes. Hey, Ken. Well, uh, did you have a chance to talk to Brett? Coming up. I think we're as ready as we can be. Can the Flaunt Girls get it together in time? Plus, I'm going to get in so much trouble. It's decision time for Angie. That's way bigger than I thought you were going to do. Will she choose the tattoo? Or Michael? He is going to. Opening night is just kicking into gear at the full throttle. No! Hello? Yes. Hey, Ken. Well, uh, did you have a chance to talk to Brett? Well, we locked Brett Michaels for Wednesday night. He is. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> People would lose their mind. That'll be good. Hell, Brett Michaels is really hot right now. I mean, so with Brett on Wednesday night and Jackal on Thursday, I feel confident that we can stand up against the competition that's all around us right now. All right, then. Let's rally down and see if we can't find what what all's going on for this week here. When The throttle is up and running. First day problems continue to mount. This girl here is going to steal from us. I just sense it completely. It doesn't take long to spot them. Should I move that bucket on the other side? She's going to know what the is happening. I'll go to okay. Even though this thing looks like it's up and going uh, and it's headed down the right track, there's always obstacles that 
constantly that we have to go take care of. Cabin office? Listen, I don't know what's going on. Something going on at the cabin. Where's the cabin office? You get a call over the walkie-talkie sometimes. You just got to go, especially if it's a serious call. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's just like the old saying, you can tell one person one thing, and by the time it goes through the chain, it's different. Off the line, off the line. Sometimes that takes place over the walkie-talkie, but you still got to go check it out. But right away, another emergency call. There's some guy grabbing the girls at the flop bar. What yeah. bar? We're over at the flop bar. Flop bar, on my way. Go with them. Move, 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 move. The guy's on me. Move. I need help. Yes, it is. Let go. No. Let's go. If I'm doing anything wrong, ask her if I'm doing anything wrong. You're touching my girls. Let go. Just ask her. It don't matter. I'm telling you, you're gone. Are you? I'm the head of security. That's who the. Oh, head. No. You want to argue with me? Let's go then. Let go. He tried to fight a little bit and then realized that it was kind of a losing battle when I had more than just me. And as I was turning around, that's when he started spanking my butt. And I already told him 10 times he can't touch us. No touching. Yeah. You guys back. When I'm getting calls to get my ass up there right away, you're gone. It's that sorry. simple. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss anybody off. Ended up talking to him and making him leave. Try not to arrest anyone unless they just push the issue. All right, thanks. All right, have a good you're night. You're not hurting me. It didn't hurt. All right, that's good. Another security concern are bikers wearing their club colors. What's happening at the front door? They left some colors in. I talked to the guys, you know, we just don't want you to show them, either turn your vest around or leaving your bike. Gotcha. It was, you know, I'm just here to have a good time. So the security guards are constantly always kind of checking out for club colors or, or even gangs because there's a lot of gangs that actually probably come through there that's not actually wearing a, a club color vest. So they're kind of trying to do their job and, and be on their toes, you know? I want to let you know, the Hells Angels came in, they did flip their shirts inside out. They had no problem whatsoever. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you. Let's buy them a beer. Tell Byron to get them back more and just give them two of them guys, ask them what they want to drink. They're getting a beer on the house from Mike Ballard. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. He told me get the out go change my shirt. They're, getting, they're just trying to do what they think is right. Right on. What are you drinking? I'll buy you a beer. You know, it's neutral territory, so just come on out, have a beer. Let's all have a good time together. That's what it's all about, you know? Yeah, Flaunt hopes a big show tonight will set them up for their audition on Thursday. I'm putting my ass on the line for Angie and the Flaunts. Got a close friend of mine, Mr. Big Hollywood executive. He's coming in. If he likes what he sees with the Flaunt girls, it could change their life. And with the issues that we have, we just have to resolve them. One, two, three, four. We're friends. We all need to be grown ups and go, we have a job to do. Let's do it and let's flaunt out like rock stars. And help me welcome to the flaunt stage for the first performance of 2010, the flaunt girls! excited to see us and that really helps us just to kill it and rock it it was so fun it went a lot better than i thought it was gonna go i was happy with it i know that our lines weren't on all the time and i saw a couple different things here and there that need to be tightened up tonight we only did one new number this night wasn't really a test that's great for the first night it was good but good doesn't get it one two He's teaching us how to count. Jesse was giving us the look like, well, you guys can tighten up a little bit. He's got a, a groove to it. 
the stakes are high, and if we're going to amp them up and take them to the next level this year, the pressure's on. the thing with the throttle is that you you're gonna see stuff here you don't see anywhere else nowhere In the web, I'm gonna have where she, it looks like she spun FTS within the web. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get in so much word. trouble. It's just an Angie spider because I didn't want the cliche black widow spider. What are you doing? Do not tell Michael I will kill you. did not approve that. I will kill you if you tell Michael. I looked down at Angie's foot and it was a cool tattoo, but I knew it was not gonna fly with Michael Ballard. I'm not gonna tell him nothing. <laughs> I told Angie I wouldn't tell Mike about the tattoo, but I didn't tell her that I wouldn't show Mike about the tattoo. He is going to serious trouble this year. I was pretty mad and pissed off. She ended up going now and getting a webbing put around it with three other spiders. And I told her not to do it. I have an artful eye. I love art no matter what form it's in. I'm not sure why he doesn't like it. It's not on his foot. He doesn't have to look at it. Oh, I'm mad at you. Oh, no, you're not that mad at me, Michael. You're not that mad at me. I kept telling you I was going to do it. You don't know how I like it. Yeah, but you know that I do like it. It's not like I went and got something on my shoulder on my, like a tramp st
it kind of pissed me off a little bit that she didn't actually really come and talk to me about it very much, you know? It's in the same spot as my old tattoo. I don't tattoo. give a damn. I don't like it. How, you haven't even seen it. I've seen it. Oh, trust me, I'll look right at it. I've seen it. Michael, listen to me. It's in the same exact spot as my... I told you not Like, you can't ever, like, see it. I'm like, oh, it's, it's like this big. My foot is not that big. Let me see it. I have it's that far. I've seen it. Yeah, it's my foot is oh, right, Michael. Look at my foot is that wide. I told you not to do it. My I know I don't like it. You know damn well I don't like it. I know, but it's 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 part of the tattoo I was supposed to originally have. That don't mean nothing. I didn't get like a new one. It's not like I got a yeah, you sleeve. Did. No, you just got a new one. That's all in the book, brand new tattoo. Keep... It's not the same tattoo you had. It's a new one. It's I don't like it. It's part of my same one. I don't like it. walk a mile to get in here on these crutches, but you know what? It's all good. Where do you want to have Brett stay? I don't know that they're staying anywhere because they're coming in with like four tour buses. Wednesday night, you, nobody's nobody needs to park anything back there. They're on full-blown tour, so they're Holy coming shit. through with full, they're going from city to city to city. Brett Michael's coming in, and uh, I want to make sure before he gets in that we've got everything in place. I want him to have a great experience when he's here. Just letting you know that Wednesday he is. I can use it. I'll come in, do his gig, be smooth, get okay. up, and take off. As opening night winds down, it's clear the first day problems and a smaller than expected crowd have added up to a major disappointment. I know we're in a hole big time and there's a lot of obstacles to come to come through in order for us to make this thing a, a hit for this year. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? All right. Good. Has it been okay up here? It's terrible. Get busier tomorrow, no next day and next yeah. day. We extended our mortgages from last year because we had such a bad rally. We've got to overcome last year's mortgages and this year's mortgages in order to pull this thing out. Oh, here you did? The big, yeah. To come back in 2010 and have this extreme competition breathing down our throats, all of it combined, every single day is precious. We've got to make every single day count. I'm just hoping these crowds pick up. It ain't down busy out there, bud. I just ain't feeling it yet. I think we were all a little bummed out. I mean, we honestly expected the, the first night to be bigger. I'm not feeling it. I don't feel it inside me that it's really kicking at the, and that the registers are really jamming yet. It's got to pick up a lot more than this if we're going to pull out of this jam we're in. Hey, Mike, I thought you'd want to know. I'm up here at the Buffalo Chick. They had Tesla and Rowdy Pool. It was packed. They had a big crowd. I don't have the total numbers from, from tonight, but it, I know I'm in the hole. And if things don't pick up, you know, we're going to be in serious trouble this year. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. I need you to get the f out of my way. The gloves are off. We need another Angie. Suck my Jesse. As Angie and Jesse go to war over Angie Land. Okay, you go pick no a different Angie then. What a deal. We clash. Jesse's been on the radio. Who gives a if we make any money?